Steve Winger's Balloon Show is a fun, interactive presentation of the gospel. It features hundreds of balloons and helps kids and adults understand the good news and bad news found in the Bible. Here's a quick overview of Steve's show. There is good news and bad news with a bead. You know what's something really good that comes from a bee? Honey, that's right. What's something really bad that comes from a bee? The stinger, that's right. Guess what, when we're all done, you get to have Buzzy the Bee. Let's give it up for her for helping us out. Try to hit her with your arrow. Get your bows ready. Pull them back. On your mark. Get set. Shoot. Some of them got close, but they still fell short. Some of them didn't even get close at all. And that's a picture of what the Bible says. We all sin. We all fall short of God's standard, God's mark. It really all comes down to just one simple word. It comes down to the word sin. And it all started in the very beginning. In the beginning was God. And after he had created the heavens and the earth, God created man in his own image. And God and Adam lived together in the Garden of Eden. They walked together. They talked together. They had perfect fellowship with each other in the Garden of Eden. Now, they had this complete oneness, a perfect union with each other. And God gave Adam a job. God gave Adam the job of naming all the animals. The next one is very colorful. It's got wings and it floats on the air with antenna. A butterfly, that's right, you're gonna get the butterfly. That's what Adam named that, that one. Now this next one is gonna be really tough. Hi, you know what, this one is gonna be really tough. It's from the ocean, and it has eight legs. Are you kidding? What would you call it, you know? It's called an octopus. It's called an octopus. You are so right. Woo! Yeah, baby! And that is what Adam named that. When we're all done, you're going to get the octopus. Let's give it up for him for helping me out. And God takes that rib, and he fashions out of that rib a perfect helper for Adam. And God made Eve and brought Eve to Adam. And God and Adam and Eve had this perfect relationship, this incredible closeness, this amazing oneness with each other. They walked together, they talked together. They were one with each other. All right, young lady, do you know what the animal was that was in the garden that tempted Adam and Eve? That's right, it was the snake. And the snake came to Adam and Eve. And they said, and the snake said, if you eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you will not die, but you will be just like God. And the second that Adam and Eve took that bite, this perfect relationship that they had with God, this amazing oneness that they had with God, the second they took that bite, this is what happened. Their relationship with God was instantly broken. And because the tree was kind of the symbol of their sin, we're going to use this tree as the symbol of sin. I made two giant boats. I made the Titanic and the Ark. The Titanic hit an iceberg and sank. And every person on the Titanic needed to be rescued. 
Every person on the ark had been rescued. You see, the instant we ask Jesus to forgive us of our sin, watch what happens. With Adam and Eve, the instant they sinned, their relationship was broken. And the instant we ask Jesus to forgive us of our sin, this is what happens. You see, the barrier of sin is instantly taken away. I would love to have an opportunity to share this presentation of the gospel with your church family, camp, or ministry group. Your group will walk away with more than just a balloon. They will walk away with a clear picture of the gospel. To book this show or one of Steve's other programs, contact him at 806 786-2202.